All right, gonna do a video. Um, I came up on this um, about a week ago, and you know I was surprised uh, someone who's supposed to be an IT professional didn't know how to do something pretty simple. Um, what you have here is you have this is a RJ45 connector or terminator, and this is a RJ11 connector or terminator. And this is a force, you know, there's I think four pin or whatever you want to call it. Um, pretty standard. Uh, for you know the old telephone or what's referred to as POTS. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do is show you how to um, how you can take a Cat5 cable. This is a standard Cat5e. This is actually a cruddy one. Um, I think it came with one of my old routers or something. I, and I noticed the the pairs are actually stranded. Those aren't even which is junk. But I won't even go into that. But I'll, I'll show you how to. Um, you know, because what I had to do, um, because there was a a jack, and then um, there was an RJ45, and then there was actually a, a POTS, you know, port, you know, the generic term on the router, and so and it was for a fax machine. So um, what I had, what we had to do was we needed, and, and you can use these typically in an RJ45 receptacle. They will clip in. Um, but the, the main issue we had was the cable, you know, so, you know, you've got, this is Cat5, and there's eight pairs of wires. Um, so the question becomes, how do you get this with, you know, with an RJ45 and, you know, connection on one end and a RJ11 on the other end to work with a, um, you know, with with the, the appropriate terminators, this end was going to go into the router. This end was going to go into the uh, wall jack. So I'll show you. Um, this end's already ready to go for the uh, RJ45. Cut it, and then so there's four. There's four. If you can see that, there's four terminators, um, four pins there. So we only need four wires. And I'm going to show you right now. boom boom and boom so I'm just gonna pick and make it simple the four um, solid pairs and then what I'll do get some eel handy scissors um, and I will cut these off right down there okay so it doesn't matter um, this is kind of the key this isn't like a Cat five, you know where you have, you know, you typically got to go, you know, a certain pattern, orange, white, orange, etc. Um, these ha just have to match on uh, both ends, and you only need four wires. So um, I made my first cut. Uh, I just want to get these flat. And maybe make one more small cut. Just kind of get these close to even length. This will make this a lot easier. This is the usually I think the harder one. Um, you see, you got still got some of the other wires. Trying to get this one um, to line up because you're only going to use um, four of the eight pins on this terminator. So hopefully you can see this. And when I'm, when you're doing the insertion, and it's definitely okay to back out. Um, some people like to hold this. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a professional quote-unquote cabler. This is kind of going the way of the dodo anyway, because of the uh, proliferation of wire, wireless. I'm sorry, but yeah, you get the four, <laughs> get the four pair, uh, four wires lined up, and get them in there. Boom, boom, boom.
Okay, I got it in there. Um, you, this might take a little trickery, a little guiding to get them right. And, you know, give them a decent push, not too hard. But obviously you want the insulator um, to um, go past this little, I don't know what you call it, this catch. This is, part, this is the part, when you crimp, let me show you in a second, this is going to bite down the pins. But again, this isn't really a video about terminating Cat5. Um, that's pretty good. So, you old trusty crimper. Uh, just kind of lock it in. This is a non ratcheting model, so just pops and then push it back out. Do a quick double check. Um, looks pretty good to me. So the main thing is you want the you want the line um, the wires to be on the center four and I went orange, green, brown, blue on this end and it's, it's on there pretty snug and I did I did catch the insulator which is good so it'll, it gives gives it a little extra hold and as you can see the pins didn't really push down on the other end you, know, you could always maybe make it a second pass and. Second little bite, Let's pop it back out. Should be good. So there you go. Pretty solid, pretty clean. Um, I'll show you another trick. I see a lot of people do this. There's a video. The guy took scissors and did it. Did it. Um, yeah, you can do that. They have a tool. This is cheap, by the way. A buck, two bucks. Um, Radio Shack, Gray Bar, etc. They sell these. I don't know what the heck they're called. Um, so basically, you put this in. It, it's it, you know, it's designed to do just what I'm going to show you. Now, because I'm doing the um, the RJ11, you know, I don't know. Some people like to you know cut a bunch off and go crazy, and I guess I'll do that technique today. But I do the second notch. Just give it a, little, a slight little press. But if you just hold on to this and then you know swing it around couple times and then boom and if you look it cuts it really clean and a little nope not even this thing, that's why I think this thing's awesome so you don't you don't have to press or nothing but that's what I think the loops for so you can spin it around and get a nice cut cut that right off nice and clean because obviously you don't want to um, cut one of these wires so then you just again separate the pairs I'll go as you know, short as I can. It's not extremely critical. And you know, it doesn't hurt to double check your, your pattern. Orange, green, brown, blue. Yeah, so let's get these pairs together. Pretty good. Oops, the orange and the green keep wanting to flip. <laughs> That's okay, just we'll guide that orange. Alright. 
get these flat. And again, we're dealing with a RJ11, which is a heck of a lot smaller. <laughs> um, and we're trying to get to fit on RJ45, so this is tricky. Um, you can, you know, you can get it to bite down on the insulator, um, but it's tricky. But I think what the hell, we'll go for it. Right up there. Yeah. Here, we'll go for it. We'll go for the gusto. Um, so if those other pairs hanging around so you can get those down. But yeah, this is you don't have to do it this way. Some people like to I don't know, leave a lot of slack. Now this one I think is actually easier because um you're not fumbling with uh, uh guiding them in as much. You just basically yeah, getting a good push, getting them in, and try to go to the end. Make sure they're right, which it looks like they are. Looks like orange, green, brown, blue to me. Alright. And I got the little RJ11 slot. Give it a good firm squeeze but test it yeah the oh it well it didn't get the insulator but that's actually good because you want the insulator to go into the terminator that's actually pretty clean and then there there you have it um and you can see on this one there's there should be two empty slots on both ends and this one there's no empty slots it also doesn't hurt to look at it from the the top or the end just to see if the wires are going all the way through and if the uh, pins this one you of course got a better view but that's 